So how do we answer multiple choice questions? Now, what most of you do, what most students do, is just look at the question and look through the answer, see where the answer is. Okay, tick. Without giving it much thought because you think you're in a rush because you've got 30 questions or you've got lots of questions to do because you don't value those multiple choices. Whereas really and truly, if you go step by step, tick, 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 choice, 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 correct, correct, correct. And those that take time essentially answering the question actually will come to a conclusion quicker. Okay, so we're going to go through this five step process and uh, nice and easy. And then we're going to do some examples. So read the actual question. What is it actually asking? And digest the numbers and terms. So what does it do? What do the numbers and the terms that they're suggesting in the question? What are they actually representing? So if they give you questions on elasticity of demand, which elasticity of demand is it? What's the number for a PED that they've given? Or what's the number for um, the the percentage changes that they've given? What do they What do they want? What are they asking you? Okay. So make sure you link all of these terms. And remember, these multiple choices cover all the topics. So is it micro, macro? Is it the year 12 stuff we went through? Is it the year 13 macro stuff that we went through? And so forth. Go through each answer. Annotate on each choice. Tick, cross, uh, why it might be correct. Maybe do like a little uh, a line like that just to suggest that it might be that one. Annotate the diagrams. If you're... If the question's asking or suggesting that there have been an increase in commodity prices and, a, and an increase in taxes, what does this, which diagram would be the most relevant one? So you can, you can sit there in your head and discuss to yourself or think about to yourself what Im impact has this had on the SRAS or the supply curve. Uh, and when you annotate the diagrams, the answer will often come clear. Calculate anything the question is asking you. Okay, you'll have quite a fair few calculation questions where you need to come up with the answer, so make sure you do them. And when you're reading a question, you can literally just annotate, right, this is a PED. Okay, this number is representative of percentage change in QD and so forth. And when you're, when you're annotating like that, it's very quick and it also shows you where the answers are. Okay, or something that's going to help you answer the question. Choose which one you believe is to be correct. So just give it a choice, give to pick one. Okay, and then once you've done that, eliminate the run ones that are wrong. Or as you're going through each answer, as you're going through each answer, then suggest and then just cross them off as well. So these two can be interchangeable. But when you're not sure, Pick the one that you believe is correct and at the same time, eliminate the ones that are, you think are definitely wrong. But you have to justify why you think it's wrong. You can't just go, right, A, yeah, no, nah, that's not right. Okay, uh, no, no, you, I want you to explain, right, A is not right because, B is incorrect because. You have to justify to yourself. And if you're going, uh, A is wrong, uh, I, I don't actually know. Uh, and so forth, then don't cross it out. You don't know why it's wrong. Okay, and that's this, where you don't have an answer, that's where most students go wrong. That's where the the, the questions that you're getting and the, the where you can maximize, you can get 100% in your multiple choice section and you're not. So, and that's because they believe that the answer is wrong just from face value. So you have to justify it. Okay, there will always be a couple of answers that look similar. Do not fall for it. Ensure they are incorrect. That's the that's the most important part. Ensure that they are incorrect. Okay, and that's where justifying comes in. And then final step is obviously finalizing your answer. Okay, so remember this five step process. 